Today, I'm going over the workflow of GNOME. If you like my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the section below. Now we're going to go ahead and get started. And we're going over the workflow of GNOME and I'm going to show you how I normally set up GNOME to work. A lot of people don't like GNOME because they think it's clunky and weird to use. However, a lot of them have not taken the time to study how GNOME works and how, it, how to properly set it up. However, not everyone's going to like GNOME either way. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this and we're going to go ahead and begin by going to the settings right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and go down to devices. And I'm going to go ahead and hit keyboard shortcuts. And this is where you would set up your key bindings. And I'm going to go ahead, like launch terminal, that's the default. But let's just say launch web browser and all this stuff. I usually don't set that one up, and I'll show you why in a minute. But first of all, we're going to go ahead and hit. Uh, well, I'm just going to use this as an example. I'm going to go ahead and set this up as Super W, and I click Set. Now, if I do a Super W right now, it's going to bring up my Firefox. And now I'm just going to go ahead and close out. Now I'm going to go ahead and set up all my key bindings. And I, while I set up my key bindings, I'm going to cut this off. And then I will be right back. Well, there is one thing I forgot to mention about setting up key binding. And you can set custom ones by going down here and clicking add, typing a name and a command, and hit set shortcut, and pressing the key combinations. I'm not going to do that because I got them all set up. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the dock. Now I only keep a few things down here, but you can put as many things as you want down here. I usually don't keep the help here, and I usually don't keep rhythm box here. But I usually keep my file browser, with my mail client, my web browser, my Thunderbird mail client, uh, my file manager, and my LibreOffice writer, and I always add Steam down here by clicking Add to Favorites, and that's generally how I keep my dog. Now, um, I use my, uh, my GNOME desktop as a keyboard driven desktop. So we're going to go ahead and I installed screen key. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to go ahead and start up LibreOffice Writer. And I could be here just typing. Okay. But let's just say I uh, decide I needed to use GIMP for some graphic design. Well, I just press Super G. And it starts up GIMP for me just to do my graphics design. Now, let's just say I wanted to move this to a different workspace, like a different virtual desktop. Well, that would be Super Page Down and move it down to the next one. There we go, super shift page down, sorry. But then I do super page up and super page down to switch between those two. You can also go to the activity center right here and switch them right here too. I just use my key bindings. Now, let's just say I wanted to browse, fire, uh, browse using Waterfox. Well, not Waterfox, but Firefox, sorry. I just push that right on the dock right there and open that. Or if I wanted to play games, that would be a Super L for Lutris. For 
and that will bring up Lutris for me. Now let's just say I want to launch a program that I hadn't set up a key binding. I don't set up key bindings for all of them. Well, I just press the super key right here. And let's just say I wanted to use LibreOffice Calc. I would type in cal calculator right here. Press enter. Like that. I have like your standard launcher right there. Or if I wanted to start up the calculator, I'd just type in a CAL and go ahead and start up the calculator that way. Or, or if I wanted to start up, let's just say, um, solitaire, I'd type in asshole. I just start typing solitaire and it'd be right there. It's really, really simple how you use that. I really, sometimes I, you don't really need this application button down here, but some people hide it and some people don't. I mean, you don't even really need this dock if you don't want it. Some people just hide the dock. So it's all whatever you want to do. But um, that's pretty, typically how I use GNOME is just keyboard and keys, key bindings. like that so literally and I can just keep doing that until it opens up several of them but um, that's basically how I use now and thank you for watching